On Wednesday, fans were treated with the reveal of Hotan Pantai, the new Asian-inspired map for Farming Simulator 25. And today, the Asian theme continues with some of our fact sheets with the fifth installment in the series. For those keeping count, we are nearly halfway through the fact sheets with just six and a half weeks to go until the release of Farming Simulator 25 on November 12th. Up first is the Izeki PRJ-8D Rice Planter. One of the first pieces of machinery shown off during the pre-FarmCon reveal, the PRJ-8D plants rice saplings in a flooded field. I assume the alternative would be to planting by hand, so the $25,500 price tag looks to be well worth it to me. One of the smaller self-propelled machines in Farming Simulator, the planter has a 25 horsepower engine, and given its low top speed, this machine is likely transported to and from the rice paddies on a trailer or stored very close to the fields because you're not getting very far very fast at just 13 miles per hour. Now, once you make it to the field, though, the narrow knobby tires will get the job done, placing the saplings in the ground at a mind bending 5 miles per hour. The operation of this unit is quite impressive, where the trays of saplings are placed in a sliding cassette style tray on the back and as the unit drives along, individual saplings are picked from the trays and inserted into the ground, while the trays on either side of the operator serve to allow them to easily reload the cassette in the middle of a run. Overall, the planter will hold a combined 274 liters of saplings and fertilizer. I, for one, am eager to try the planter out and see how it handles moving around given its weight of just under one ton and those ultra narrow tires. More can be found in the link to the description to the real life planter. Once the growing season is over, the rice planted with the PRJ-8D will need to be collected. And for that job, we have the Izeki HJ-6130 Rice Harvester, a highly specialized machine. And thankfully, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg and a second leg like the Oxbow Harvesters that we've seen in past weeks. The HJ6130 comes in at $95,000, and even with its 130 horsepower engine, it putters along at a slow speed of 8 miles per hour and a working speed of just 5 miles per hour. In addition, due to its small size, the storage hopper is fairly small as well, holding just 2,000 liters and having a weight of 5.6 tons. Once again, there is a link to the Real Life Harvester down in the description below. Lizard Motors is back with its Dragon line of trucks. The versatile Dragon will transport all of the bulk fill types in Farming Simulator 25, 37 in all if I counted them correctly. Depending on the configuration changes, the truck can hold between 3,500 and 7,600 liters of cargo. From the map reveal earlier this week, a small stash of the truck will be key in moving in and about the cities as well as the tight and winding hillside villages. The truck is very affordable at $45,000, so it will be handy across all sorts of maps for the lifespan of FS25, while also not being overly slow with a top speed of 50 miles per hour. In our third fact sheet for the day, we learn a bit more about the John Deere C441R baler, and we saw this again at the pre-FarmCon video where we learned about the use of consumable bale wrap, net wrap, and twine. The round baler will produce and wrap a single size 125 centimeters and will bale at 11 miles per hour. The low horsepower requirement as well as the cost of just $112,500 will likely make this baler a very popular choice for many a farmer. Again, you can find information about this baler down in the description below. I found it interesting that when I looked this baler up, I got a UK John Deere website and when I tried to find this exact baler on the US website, they didn't have this particular model. Closing out the fact sheets for today, we have a new brand to come to Farming Simulator base game. The recent release of TerraLife Plus has given PC players a little advanced access to this brand, but come November 12th, all players will be able to make use of the T-Force Plus 950 Seeder from Novag. Given this unit is no-till, and as such does not require the soil to be cultivated, it does have a fairly high power requirement of 415 horsepower. That is not the only thing that is high as you're going to be a bit lightheaded after you hand over the $312,000 to purchase it as well. We have a 9 meter seeder here that will hold a combined 7,700 liters of seed and solid fertilizer 
and has a very specific working speed of not 7 miles per hour, but 7.5 miles per hour. This may be the first time that I have seen such a very specific working speed defined. You can also find a link to the real life product once again down in the description below. That's it for this week's trip to Asia. On Wednesday we had the map reveal and today we learned some more details on the Azeki planter and harvester as well as the small lizard dragon truck. But I'll be honest, I was hoping to learn a bit more about some of the other things shown off at the Tokyo Game Show trailer, like the three-wheeled utility vehicle or the Massey Ferguson Harvester. Remember to keep an eye on the website under the game section for new vehicles and brands making their way into these listings. As always, if you are ready to pre-order, then it would be much appreciated if you use one of my affiliate links down in the description. For PC players, you have a choice of picking up the game directly from the Giants eShop, where you can get not only the base game, but also the Year 1 bundle that includes the first year season pass as well. Or, if you're looking to get a physical copy of the game, you can either pick up the base game or the collector's edition from my Amazon affiliate link. Console players, don't fear, you're not going to be left out, as you can also use the Amazon affiliate link to order a copy of FS25 for PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X or S. Now, I hope you've enjoyed the rundown today, and if you've missed the map reveal breakdown, then go maybe check that video out. I'll leave a link to it at the end of the video. If you can give this video a like, it would be really helpful with the overall channel recommendations. Views have been tempering off quite a bit as I feel that a lot of players maybe have checked out with respect to Farm Sim 22 and are out there enjoying other games ahead of release of Farm Sim 25. Lastly, if you are not a subscriber, you can help me achieve my goal of having 50,000 subs before the release of FS25 on again November 12th by hitting that subscribe button as well. Be sure to come back next week for a whole new round of information about Farm Sim 25. I have a feeling it's fixing to get real spicy. Until next time, happy farming.